Hey guys, Decaf13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. <sighs> it's about time we finally got to exploring Pokemon Mansion, so let's see if we can make our way through. Shouldn't be that bad, especially considering we don't have to deal with random encounters, just trainers, and you know, puzzles, but whatever. Got it. This is a lot more manageable seeming with no random encounters. Hey, look at coughing. Let me catch a coffin. Oh, cool, my favorites. I didn't check. What level is this thing? I thought it was going to pop out so I could check, but oh well. Hey, I got a pin up, Barry. Another coughing. Radicates. Item. Max. Max Lore and a Max Repel. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> oh, Rattata. I'm trying to think what else appears in here. Oh, right, I walked past it. Duh. Come on, John. Max Elixir. Oh, that was oh, well, Max looks real problem. Hey, a wheezing. Forty-four. Ah, I wasn't expecting to catch in a Pokeball. There we go. See, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Ooh, she is, but she's level 50. I just heard another wheezing. Magmar. Are they, are they supposed to be skittish? I wouldn't think Magmars would be skittish. He's got 1200 CP. That's not too bad. Too bad I'm not going to use a Magmar. Although my team is sorely lacking in fire. Although, I'm trying to think. I don't think I have much of a need for fire types anymore. Because yeah, we have the fire type gym coming up, then ground. I mean, it might come in handy against Lorelei, but I already have arms for Lorelei. So, like, it really doesn't matter. Oh well. Ether. I should probably fight some trainers. All right, Rapidash. That's his only Pokemon. Forty-four. Even in here, I'm still like overleveled. It's not like it's hard to overlevel in this game. My 
figured it'd be best to lead with a burrow for this place. Because then it's going to be a bunch of fire and poison type Pokemon. Get fucked, Arnie. Another Magmar. A rat. Ooh, he's still growing. <laughs> huh, wonder why that one Magmar was just running like that. That was weird. Probably hit that switch. Oh, coach trainer. Sure, better give me something good for this. Graveler. Yeah, that's weak to earthquake. One of her three Pokemon. Oh. Takedown. I swear, if you just give me a TM for takedown, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Watch, that's what this is gonna be. Polyrath. Ooh, yeah, I should probably switch. Um, yeah, arms. Arms should be able to do it. He has good defenses. Oh, he's actually on par. Submission, that's not good. See, this woman just has a bunch of recoil moves. So yeah, she probably is just gonna give me takedown. That's gonna have a lot of healing items. Doug Trio. Eh, yeah, nine tails. Ice beam should be more than enough. Yup. What are you giving me? Oh, rock slide. Huh. Alright, wasn't expecting you to give me rock slide, but I'll take it. Actually, you know what? I think I might give rock slide to Burrow. Replace. Because tri special. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of Tri Attack. That should be okay. Alright. Um. Actually, let me just go up. <gasps> a 
Ditto. There's a ditto. Didn't mean to do that. Get in the ball, ditto. Nah. Ooh, that was some good timing on my part. Nah. Come on, you little dit. Nah, son of a bitch. Little bastard. Play. Interesting TM. A lot of Magmars. A lot of Pokemon clustered in this one little area. Oh, there's probably something over here. I should, I should probably get it. <sighs> Brayden. What kind of name is Brayden? Just saying, it's a weird name. Oh, come on. I resist that. <laughs> All right, sucker punch. Oh, I just went for fuck you, motherfucker! I should just went for rock slide. Great, not gonna heal that after the fight. Man, what what a what a good Pokemon! I I love that new feature. <laughs> I fucking love that friendship feature where the the Pokemon just get rid of a status element randomly. That's nice. That that's a great addition. I'm really looking forward to Sword and Shield to uh, see how they do like the uh, I guess Pokemon and me type stuff. So they're probably gonna keep that in. Seems like that would be that's a real popular feature. You know, while while we have nothing to do, might as well talk about what I'm looking forward to in Sword and Shield. I, I know I talk about it on stream a lot, but uh, you you always see those uh like theory videos from uh PokeTubers going around this time. Uh, right when a new game gets announced, where they'll take a uh, two, three minute trailer, do like 10 hour analysis videos of it, or just like 10 million different analysis videos. Just because, you know, I instead of actually playing a Pokemon game, why not just look at a fucking trailer and make shit up? make up like 10,000 different theories so that the way, when the game comes out you, you had the one that was sort of correct and then you can brag about it <laughs> and I'm in no way trying to uh what is it? trying to shit on you Poketubers I mean hey there's nothing wrong with choosing just one game series to play for your entire YouTube career if I, believe me, if I could do that, but if I would, what am I trying to say? If I, if I could, I probably would have just stuck with SMT for all of my YouTube career. 
probably would have been like the only SMT tuber out there. Oh, Arms is fucking dead. Wow, that Kingler's... Poor Arms toughed it out. Thanks, Arms! Just get that fucking Kingler out of here. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Alright, I'm not trying to shit on Pogatubers anyway. I mean, hey, I think it's, uh, not commendable, but, uh, what the fuck I'm trying to say? I can honor the fact that they've chosen to just play one game series for the rest of their, their uh, YouTube career and stick to it. That's their prerogative. So who am I to shit on them for that? It's just that I remember I, I was looking on the YouTube front page before, or not the front page, but like the home page, you know, where it's just like a bunch of like different recommendations. And uh, I saw one video there, the title, it was titled something like uh, Discussing Fan Theories for, uh, for Sword and Shield. And then the thumbnail was just text that said, Warning, Potential Spoilers. It's like, what the fuck do you mean, warning potential spoilers? You're talking about fan theories. How the fuck is any of that spoilers? What, on the off chance that, it, like I said before, one of the theories is, like, 10% right? I, I don't understand people who just, like, make analysis videos of that shit. And this is coming from someone who used to make analysis videos. Granted, I don't think I... I was never that obnoxious with uh, the Fates analysis videos. I said I was going to do one for three houses, but I just like, uh, fucking whatever. <laughs> I've been growing really lazy as of often, as of late. Oh, that, that should be pretty evidenced by my really lax upload schedule. Um. But yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Explosion of Pokemon. Silver Raspberries. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to go back up the ladder. Um. Anyway, what was I saying? Something about. Fucking. Okay, these Pokemon will, like, stop popping out of the ether. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, you got stuck on the coughing and couldn't come at me anymore. That's pretty funny. I, I thought he would phase through the coughing, but apparently no, they, they thought of that. Good on you, Game Freak. Um, but hey, yeah, Poketubers aside, yo, I'm really excited for Sword and Shield. They, they I mean, it's just based on that one trailer, it looks like it's going to be a really good game. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what new uh, Pokemon they're going to be adding in, and what new mechanics might be added. I saw some people speculating, like, oh, sword and shield, that means we're gonna get, like, uh, uh, attacking and defense formations for our Pokemon. It's like, I, I don't know, that sounds weird, but I mean, hey, you never know. It's not, it's not like Mega Evolution was, like, an easily predictable thing, or Z-moves, to be fair. Although, then again, those didn't like drastically change gameplay in a core series game, so I don't think, th like, I know Pokemon is willing to like experiment with new stuff, but I don't think they're willing to change like the core experience of Pokemon, like adding in new like battle mechanics that like change battling entirely, because I feel like that would just alienate a bunch of people and they, I I'm pretty sure they don't want that. Like they want to keep it simple for newcomers. And that I can appreciate. Um, but yeah, I don't think they're gonna do anything like super crazy with battling. They'll probably just keep it the same. I'm guessing maybe like we'll get something strange in that. Uh, I remember I saw like that uh, football arena. You know, European football, not American football. Who gives a shit about American football? Um, but yeah, we saw the trainer heading into there. 
And I'm thinking maybe that's going to be like a, one of the core things in this region. Because, I mean, they, they teased at a new, like, battle system with the battle royales and, uh, or battle royals and, uh, Sun and Moon, but they never really did anything with it, aside from the one you were forced to participate in for the story. Um, well, again, battle royals fucking suck, too, so. Uh, they, they weren't really such a great thing. Because, I mean, once one person's eliminated, it's battle over. Like, that that's no fun. Let's keep going to the last person. Like, why we gotta stop just because one person fucking sucks? Oh, well. Um. Yeah. Seems interesting. Oh. Uh, and also, for anyone who doesn't know... Well, you know, I made a reaction video, but of course I couldn't upload it because Pokemon claimed it. And then blocked it worldwide, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm thinking maybe I'll upload it to Twitch. Or maybe I'll re edit it. Because I know a bunch of people had to re edit their reactions, like shrink it down, so that uh, YouTube wouldn't catch it. But I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll just put it up on Discord. Pretty sure I could do that. Although. To be fair, it's like it's been like a week now since the announcement was made. It's like, it's, do you really care anymore? I I don't. So I really don't see a point in doing it. I'll just hold on to it. It's nice to have anyway, just in case anyone wants anyone wants to know what my thoughts were on the uh, on the trailer. I can show them that. It's like, yeah, there you go. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Because I, I, I said in short, like, I, I wasn't going into the trailer, ex I wasn't going into the uh, direct expecting much. All I said was, yo, I think we're just going to get a better thing than we got last year. Uh, not la Why do I keep saying last year? We're just going to get a better thing than we did last time. Because the last time they did one of these, all we got was what? We got conceptual art of a Pokemon Center, wireframe of Picky Pack. And I think red, blue, and yellow on Virtual Console, and that was it. <laughs> so yeah, not not it, it wasn't a great uh, direct the last time they did it. All right, I have the Master Ball. You know, oh, seeing seeing this ditto and then that Master Ball in my inventory brings out some fucking memories as to when I was a kid. Because when I was a dumbass kid, I wasted my Master Ball on a fucking ditto. Okay, can I, like, fucking curve this shot, please? Stop. Okay. It's starting to get old real fucking fast. So these motion controls fucking suck when you're in TV mode. They're so much better in handheld. Alright, oh, I forgot. I transferred over a ditto. I didn't need to go out of- I didn't need to go out of my way to catch one. Oops. Oh well. Fuck it. Alright, now I'm trapped in here. Um. I feel like there was more I wanted to say, but I honestly can't remember it. I remember what I was going to say now. Cool. Thanks, coughing. That's a huge coughing. Oh, well. Oh, right, I was gonna say, uh, in regards to the starters in Gen 7, you know, I'm already, you know, I have already, uh, I already have my favorite. I'm definitely picking Sobble. Because Sobble is absolutely adorable. Hey, kid, what are you up to? Well, that helps. You know, I might as well take on the gym in this episode, too. I mean, hey, why the fuck not, right? Um... But yeah, I'm definitely picking Sobble. I mean, I... I understand people want to wait until they see, like, all the different, uh, evolutions, but... 
Really, I, I usually just base mine off of what the original looks like. That's what I do with Rowlet back in Gen 7. And hell, I did not regret that at all. Because <laughs> Decidueye was fucking awesome. You know, Rowlet's fucking adorable. So is Sobble. It's just like the typing that's going to concern me. Like, what are they going to make uh, Sobble in the end? Because I know a lot of people are like, oh god, what if Score Bunny's another firefighting type? I don't know if my heart can take that. Uh, oh right, what's the, uh... Oh hey, Blaine. Okay, he he's very excited. Oh, okay. So, the condition for this one was just get the secret key. Easy enough. Is this just a quiz? Excuse me. Is... Did they just make this gym into a... They, they just made his gym into a fucking live recording of a quiz show! I can appreciate that. What do you say? Ready to start? No need to be shy then. Step right up. I think I just want to get right to the battle. Here we go! This is the Cinnabar Island Gym Pokemon Quiz. Challengers get asked five questions that they have to answer. Get one right and you get a Blaine doll. Get a question wrong and you'll have to battle one of my students here. But if you manage to beat them, then don't worry, you still get a Blaine doll. Y you really just want to unload these things, don't you? Think you, can you? think you can collect five Blaine dolls? Here we go, the first question. Quiz time. Which of these is the Spitfire Pokemon? Magmar. The challenger is given his response, and the final judgment is... <laughs> Thanks, Blaine. Congratulations! You've won a Blaine doll! Please tell me they just pop out of these flames. Yeah, yes! This is a really good gym. I think this is my favorite gym by far, guys. All right, let's move on to the second question. How many gym badges certified by the Pokemon League are there? Eight. We're not done yet. The second question. Third question. Hold on, Mr. Blaine. This is the third question. The third question. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> God damn it, Blaine. A steel type move, on, move used on a fire type Pokemon will be not very effective. Uh, they, they just keep the last one for the middle. I, I figured they were gonna do that. It'd look weird if I was just obscured by a uh, Blaine doll the whole time. On to the fourth question. TM. Well, what's that? <laughs> Th that's correct. Okay. All right then. I don't know what Tombstone is, but sure. I I'll take it. It seems our challengers collected four Blaine dolls. It's time for the last question. Give it your all. Who are you about to battle? <laughs> I mean, you know, isn't this just the fucking uh? This is just Kiyoe's trial all over again, with the fucking, uh... Slazzle in the background. These are all the right answer. Blaine, the Cinemar Island gym leader, a fire-type Pokemon pro, a hothead... Can I just say an old guy in sunglasses? There we go. HA! Excuse me? I fucking love this gym, guys. Blade is fucking insane in this remake. <laughs> Challenger, you have obtained five Blade dolls. Which means it's time for our battle. I'm Blade, the red hot gym leader here. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! Hope you brought some burn heals! I'm glad that they kept that line in. It wouldn't be the same if you didn't say, hey, I hope you have, or I mean, they corrected the grammar, but 
you know. Oh, I, I, okay, I appreciate that there's fire reflected in his fucking sunglasses. E everything about, everything about this gym is just really fucking good. <laughs> Alright, Magmar. He has four Pokemon, it looks like. Alright, Burrow, let's do this. I wonder if Burrow could take on the entire gym by himself. I don't know. Why do I know? <laughs> I'm hesitating why? Burrow's really good, John. Be believe in your fucking Pokemon. Rapidash. I forget what his ace is. It's not Rapidash. Yeah, Bur Burl could just fucking one-shot everything here. Doesn't he have a... No, he doesn't have a Charizard. I don't think he does. He has an Arcanine. Is Arcanine his ace? It's 48, but I don't know if that qualifies as an ace. That might have been his ace. Alright, his last one, Nine Tails. Yeah, so Arcanine was his ace. Well, cool. This gym took all of what? Five minutes? That's my boy, Burrow. I have burned down to nothing! Not even ashes remain! You have earned a volcano badge! <laughs> Fucking Blaine doll scatter on the ground behind him. Here, you can have this TM too. Let me guess, Fire Blast. Yep. TM-46 contains Fire Blast, a red-hot Fire-type move. Teach it to Fire-type Pokémon. Vulpix or Charmeleon would be ideal. Fire Blast is an attack to be shown the utmost respect. Don't waste it on Water-type Pokémon. Thanks, Blaine. Alright, Shio. We, we did good, Shio. So happy over the win, it's laughing. Oh, what a certifiable good boy. Good girl. Right, fresh. Here's a girl. Oops. Oh, hey, Chase. Ah, so this is where you were. I thought you might have made your way to Cinnabar Island by now. Did you beat Blaine? Really? Congratulations! You need to have eight gym badges to get into the Pokemon League, right? <clears throat> I've got seven already, which means that the only one left is... Yeah, it must be the gym in Viridian City, right? It was closed up the last time I checked, though. Have you been in the Viridian City gym yet, John? You haven't, right? I guess I'll try stopping by Viridian City one more time. I think I will too, Chase. And you know, I might as well fly there. But yeah, hey, we're on the home stretch now. Go <laughs> hey, Shio. Yeah, we're on the home stretch now. Really, all that's left is Viridian City Gym, then take on the Pokemon League. And I think that's m that might be where I end this series. I mean, if you guys want to see me go after the Legendary Birds. I guess I will, but, I mean, I really don't see the need to. Um, but yeah, I think we'll end this episode off here. So in the next one, guys, we're gonna go take on the Viridian City Pokemon Gym. And, uh, see what exactly the leader there has in store for us. So, I'll see you guys then. 
Bye.